welcome to Match My Workout. I'm Emma. And I'm Faye, and we are two personal trainers from Scotland. Each. <laughs> Scotland! <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's so not ready. And I'm Faye, and we are two personal trainers based in the top of Scotland. Because <laughs> you really want to tell them. <laughs> I am right on top. I am not in the middle of Scotland. We're on the bottom. We're on the top. Why? It doesn't matter, we're just based in Scotland. <laughs> I'm Ella. And I'm Faye, and we're two personal trainers based in Scotland. Each episode, we hook up with an elite athlete to see how they train. They challenge us to match their workout, we record it, give an attempt, and share it with you guys. <laughs> Welcome to Match My Workout, episode one. In today's episode, we hook up with Robbie Simpson. He is a local legend. He lives just down the road from us in a little town called Bankery. It is right at the top of Scotland, near the Cairngorms in the mountains, but you may not have heard of it, so you might want to check it out on Google Maps. Hey, Robbie is a ninja mountain marathon runner and marathon runner. You might know his name from the 2018 Commonwealth Games. Um, he got a bronze medal there running the marathon. And his marathon PB time is two hours and 14 minutes, yeah. which is like Pretty super fast. fast. <laughs> Just a little bit faster than me, but it's a time that you'd be pretty happy to do a half marathon in and just highlights how fast this guy is, even just running on the flat, let alone up in the mountains. And he challenged us to a workout, so see how we get on trying to match Robbie's workout. So my fitness challenge to you is to run uphill um, on quite a steep uphill, so I've got a path on Scalty here, um, which is about 100 metres vertical gain. Um, so on Strava, it's the Scalty North segment. So you basically go up from the car park to the gate at the top of the first hill, go straight on, then it's the next left, which you'll see these arrows here. He's going up there. So my challenge to you is to see how fast you can run from the bottom to the top. Um, and if you can't get to Scalty, it's not a problem. You could just try and run uphill on as steep a hill as you can for about four minutes and see how much vertical gain you get in that time. So let's see if you can match my workout. I think it takes me just under four minutes. So see how you get on. Thanks. So that's me just completed the challenge. Uh, good luck to all you guys. Look forward to seeing how fast you can do it. And if you can't get to Scalty, like I said, don't worry. Just try and pick a steep hill you can do a similar run on and my tip would be to try and start quite steady and save energy for the second half because it always gets much harder. <laughs> okay, good luck. Cool, so we've just done the warm-up walk. Yeah, it's quite warm. <laughs> it's quite warm. We waited till later in the day um, to get out to try this but now the, sun is out. the sun's come out. So, yeah, here we are at the post <laughs> and the start of the uphill. All right, so we're going to go up this bad boy and we're going to try and do it in less than six minutes. Hopefully. Um, hopefully. We're both feeling a bit apprehensive, I think. All right, starts off pretty steady and then straight away into a kick. You can't really tell the gradient here, but... It's deep. Em's purposely taking the steps <laughs> to make it look steep. <laughs> and the faffing begins. <laughs> em doesn't like faffing at all, any faffing. And I faff a lot, so. <laughs> Great. It's, it's cool. I'll just psych myself up for going up here. She's working twice as hard because she keeps leaving things on the ground. So the bag. Now she's walked <laughs> up this bit twice. Just to do the steep end. Twice. So oh I'm in God. for a good shot now. <laughs> Tire her out. Oh Is this how you vlog? <laughs> so how do I look at the other side? How do you get it? Oh, uh, okay. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> 
I feel like we've been going for ages and I feel like my legs are tired and um I've got legs. Yeah, they're not little are they? <laughs> You've cut yourself? Oh <laughs> injury <laughs> injury already. Oh awesome. that light's better. Yo There we go. We look glowing. And so what are you doing? I am setting up the GoPro to catch our pain faces on the way up. Oh lovely. The things we do for vlogging, eh? All right, we're nearly at the top. We kind of have a glimpse of the uh, the tower. Set up a cheeky little stand for the camera to get us as we're running past. See all that guy sleeping over there with his bike. I think that's the end of the segment. I think that's where we've got to finish. Um, but yeah. Whew. Does that count? <laughs> no. Enjoy that? What do you reckon? Good. Okay, verdict. Gonna Before be we hard. go and do it. Hard. That's the only word. Okay, who's going first? I know. <laughs> you want to go? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay, Em's going to go first. I'm going to let Em go. I'm going to chill at the tower for a minute and get her when she comes back up for a post-run interview. Um, what do you reckon? Yeah. I think I'd rather go first and then I'd rather just see how painful it is. Oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. Tactical. Tactical. Okay, all right, well, I'm going to stop stalling because all that's left to do is run it now. So we're going to go and turn all the cameras on, turn the GoPro on, and, uh, yeah, yeah, give it a go. Try and match Robbie's workout. Wish me luck. Woo! I love this tower and I love getting up here, but I don't know, max effort up here. So she's gonna come down here anyway in a minute. I'm literally waiting, just waiting for her to pop out with those gazelle legs. Here she comes, go on Em, Neva, Neva. Here she comes, here she comes. She's still running. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh no. It looks hard. Go on, you got it. Keep those legs going, keep those legs going all the way to the tower. Here she comes, here she comes. Yes. Go on, go on. Keep it going, keep it going. Oh, well done, well done. Wow. Oh, how was that? Hard. What do you want to say to Robbie? Ow. Oh. <laughs> I definitely didn't go. Oh, went out too fast. Did you? Ow. Oh. How's your heart? Thumping? Hi. How's your breath? What went first, your breath or your legs? Breath. breath. Mm. How's the legs? Oh, look at this so, little dude, he's just come up on a bike. Yeah. How does that make you feel? I had my own little cheerleading squad. Did you? Yeah. They cheered me on. It definitely helped. I could have done with one again. Yeah. Oh. Woo. Thanks, Robbie. That was great. <laughs> I'd take my hat off to you. Oh, Jesus. Go on, woo! Oh, yeah. Good job, guys. <laughs> woo! <laughs> to the tower, to the tower. Yeah, I heard you were a cheerleading yeah, squad. Thank you. <laughs> Go on, Alice. Oh, thank you. good job. <laughs> thank you. You've got your turn. You've five days in the truck. Oh, five days? Yeah. Money for a test for kids, aren't you? Oh, amazing. Oh, well done. Five days up Scalsy. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> good effort. Go touch that tower. Touch that tower. <laughs> Woo! Right. Yeah. Woo! -hoo! You might not get a personal cheerleading spot. No, I know. <laughs> good? Yeah. You want another second? Um, no, I'm good. You All can, right. I'll watch you suffer now. Okay. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was painful. 
So I've caught my breath, finally. Um, and now I'm just waiting for Faye to come up. So she's probably gonna smash me out of the park because that was pretty tough. Um, but we'll see how she gets on. I'm just snacking on some hula hoops whilst I wait. I'm just off to go and do my attempt. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. And yeah, I just feel like I've got no energy, but we'll see. I don't think I liked seeing him do hers, but yeah, she just said it's gonna hurt. So I'm just mentally preparing myself on the way down to hurt a lot. See you in a bit. I might not be as talkative when I come flying past next time. Flying past. So I'm still waiting. Um, I think she might be running up now. Um, but it's time to get down and then back up. <laughs> So hopefully she's gonna pop out soon, fingers crossed running, and um, yeah, my tummy's rumbling a lot, I don't know if you can hear it, but um, maybe I should have eaten more today, <laughs> it's making some interesting noises, so um, now I'm just kind of trying to decide what I want for tea, um, feel like I've burnt a few calories, so I can have something good. I'm quite excited now because I really want to know how she gets on. Um, I think it's going to be painful. Well, I know it's going to be painful. Um, sounds bad that like I'm a bit happy about that because um, I want her to feel my pain. But yeah, I'm excited now. I really want her to hurry up and get here. Sounds painful. Yep, that's what I remember. Go on, keep going, nearly there. Go on. Keep it going, keep it going. Get to the tower. Go on. Yes. Good job. Yeah, I think that's how much it hurt me as well. How was that? Oh, so much. Oh, I thought it was gonna be. I think that was so much harder than I thought it was that's gonna be. Just my legs are gone. Oh, you look good at top. I don't know how. I couldn't get my legs to move. You am um, oh. sound in pain. Oh yeah, yeah. So much pain. Oh, I just wanted to give up so much. Oh, hey there. I had no cheerleaders. <laughs> no cheerleaders. <laughs> good job. Oh my god. So um. I've not pushed myself into the hard. bed like that for a while. Yeah, yeah. That was a uh, very much zone five oh, workout. <laughs> Robbie, you are just like ninja. You weren't even like breathing. So, <laughs> so that's me just completed the challenge. Uh, good luck to all you guys. Oh, man. Good job. Massive respect. That is so hard. That is so, so hard. Back of the van and we thought we'd uh, ch check out Strava before we get home. So we stopped our watches and um, oh, Strava's taking too long to stop. <laughs> okay, well my Strava's taking a second so I'm just gonna like delete, like get rid of it and put it back up. So it's the moment of truth. Bobby's personal yeah. record 345. So looking around like 3.30 probably. 3.35 for us maybe. 3.30. <laughs> That's not a good job. <laughs> no, he said if you did it in six, six minutes, minutes, then that's good going. So, okay, so let's see. We're on Strava. Oosh. Um, Skultino. Skultino? Skultino. Oh, what you got? 601. 601. <laughs> Devastated. Oh, shit. What'd you get? You don't think I wanted it. Okay, so considering I went second and I saw how painful it was, I was just like, don't give up. But I got 509. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can be that, it's okay. Oh. Slightly sad about oh. my one second, but I'll go over it. Oh, I don't feel, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one second. It's fine. 
Oh no. Put it into perspective for matching my workout, we just tried to match Robbie Simpson's workout, which was to run up Scalty North, or he, he said if you don't live around here, you could do four minutes and gain max elevation in your four minutes. Um, but he just ran up that in three, I've forgotten again, 45? 3.45. And we just did it in 5.09 and 6.01, and we were literally crawling. Max effort, did everything we could. So, yeah. That was a good one. That was a good one to do. Give it a go. See if you can match Robbie's workout. Um, we just tried and um, gave it our best go. Thanks, Robbie. That was great. Oosh. So, so challenge one done. Challenge one done. It was pretty tough. Yeah. And looking back on it, <laughs> Firstly, we realised that Em loves Buxton Water. I am a Buxton Water Ball model, <laughs> but there are other brands available. <laughs> and secondly, we still can't get over that Em got one second over six yeah. minutes. Devastated. <laughs> so, we've been thinking about doing another attempt. But it may be back, it may be back. Yeah, we haven't quite got there, have we? Because yeah. it, it actually was so painful. That was horrendous. That, well, I think I need to properly psych myself up because I don't want to go again. And still not count yet. Yeah, this minute. <laughs> because it's be not amazing. worth the pain. <laughs> um, yeah, it was it was really hard. Yeah. I I pushed I think as hard as I could at the time, but then I don't know. Going back, I think. Maybe. Well, you watched the video, and we like we did play back some of the videos when we got back home, and um, you see the video. We start off quite well, but you get to the video where it gets to the steep bit, and honestly, it doesn't look steep. But it is steep. Yeah. <laughs> if you try it, it's steep. Like, I'm literally like going like a snail. Like, like it's like I can't it's even look so, at so slow. <laughs> so the both of us both are laughing. It's like it looks like a joke that like you're putting on that you're running that slow, but you're not. No, it's actually that it's hard. It's the fatigue and the legs, just like the pure lactic acid buildup, because you are really. It's like doing a, a thousand step ups. It's like going on a stepper and doing a thousand step ups, but trying to go as fast as you can. You can't breathe because something's like restricting you. You've got like. Lactic building up in your legs. Oh, it's it just was painful. yeah. And by the end of it, like I look like I'm waddling to the friggin' tower because I can't even lift my legs up. I just feel like there's just nothing. But yeah, a lot of respect for amazing Robbie. Amazing respect, especially because like I know his discipline is he runs marathons, but I know he prefers running in the mountains. Yeah. And he said like he loves the mountains and. He's a sense, he does them all around the, the Cairngorms. And, and he does like, he does a four peaks one or something, or five oh, peaks. Oh yeah. And, like, Check out his, his Instagram, he's got a link to it with yeah. Adidas. They did a like four, four peaks around um, Aberdeen, yeah. so that's pretty cool. And, and his pace is just unreal. Like going uphill, I do not know how you hold a pace no. like that. Like, it, and I am pretty sure he finds that run very easy. Yeah. <laughs> like you see him speaking at the top and us speaking at the top or not. <laughs> <laughs> and it's yeah, I take my hat off. It's pretty impressive, and it kind of shows why um, he is where he is. But yeah, and, that, and that's the whole idea of this this um, channel is we just want to try and highlight like just how hard these guys train and how hard they push themselves, and just the league that they're in as well. Yeah. Um, but one thing I would say is it's definitely spurred us on and just given us an insight into how to build power as well through just hill running. So if you're trying yeah, to maybe. Definitely get faster at a 5k or a 10k and in isolation you've been running the same route and you've been you know trying yeah, to improve to your time. Yeah, to up isn't yeah. it, like to do something and then you do that and then you go and run on the flat and you're like oh god this is so much easier. Yeah. Like it's, yeah. And we, and we just went and did a run the other day and we went um, up a hill but and, and it was quite hard, and I don't know why we decided to go over hill, but we did. So obviously, Robbie's effect is Yeah, it's going into our head now. Yeah, and I'm like, like, well, if I'm going to go back, I at least need to run a few more hills yeah, first. <laughs> but this hill wasn't as steep, and it hurt, and both of us were struggling. We just stopped talking to each other, but we carried on because it wasn't as hard as what we did. So just putting it out a maximum effort from time to time, whether you set up a little challenge with your friends, or you just go and choose a Strava route and you get a time, for example, yeah. like. Like this one could be a really good addition to your training. It's and so good. It like pushes you and gives you something to like aim for and then go back and 
look at and you can see that like you've made an improvement and you don't often really put yourself in that red zone that we've no, in. Like, unless you race or there's something yeah. else, but you, you can actually do it and it's probably a really worthwhile thing doing every like month, every six weeks, every couple of months just to see where you are and then so you don't get lax with your training and you hold yourself accountable. Um, yeah, you Definitely. can put something down and you can just see whether your consistency in training is paying off or whether maybe you're fatigued and you've overtrained and so you can't get there and you might need a rest or your training might not be working and you might need to mix it up yeah. um, because your body's adapted and yeah, you need to look at your training and, and try to get fitter and stronger in a different way. So yeah, you don't have to go and run up a hill. You could book a holiday up to Banbury and come and run up yeah, well, in all. Salty, you know? Um, a, a good old trail run. <laughs> yeah. um, but just yeah, bearing in mind in your training, um, like mixing it up and giving stuff a go, going into the red, holding yourself accountable, and yeah, giving yourself a little bit of a challenge. So if you fancy doing it, then yeah. go out. And you're not in Bankery. And you're not in Bankery. Yeah, go out and find a hill. Give yourself four minutes and see how much vertical you can gain. So you can do it anywhere. Um, yeah, comment below. Let us know on our Instagram or our Facebook if you get on and if you give it a go. Yeah. Tag Robbie, let him know. And yeah, like and share this video and subscribe. Cheers, guys. Episode one. Done.